there. Let's see what we're doing here today. Superfood heroes. Hey there, y'all. All health heroes calling y'all because I need some help today. I got a ramen hack for you. Now, this ramen hack is pretty simple. I got my food pantry food today. And this ramen hack, literally, y'all, use your own noodles. First of all, use liquid aminos or, or let me pull a few tricks out of the bag. Let me pull a few tricks out of the bag. Because this one is a good one, y'all. Um, instead of liquid aminos, you also want to use coconut aminos. That way, for those of you who are scared of soy, you don't have to worry about that, okay? Now, this one, y'all see it's organic. I'm here at Skyline 21 Adult Day Center, and they have all the food pantry food for us. So we got food pantry food, a.k.a. I'm going to unpack them because basically with ramen, all you really need are noodles. So I've got my rice noodles. That's also part of the hack for all of you gluten-free people who, uh-oh, I look fuzzy. Oh my goodness, y'all. My signal, if it's not the sound, it's the video. Uh, uh, uh. Hopefully it clears up, y'all. Hopefully it clears up. We're going to see what we can do, okay? We're going to see what we can do with this. Uh, look, y'all let me know what TWP popcorn is in here. He's letting us know what's popping. But I can see that I look really grainy, really fuzzy. It's my signal. Definitely, it's my bandwidth. And... for premium service, and you try to do your best. Well, you know what? Let me close some windows. Let me close some windows. And this over here, you just have this window open. Let's see what happens if we close anything else in the world. Mm -mm -mm. Everything is closed. Y'all know my recipes are 30-minute recipes. So when I say ramen hack, this is 30 minutes or less from fresh, okay? That means we do have garlic, onions, carrots. Now, the onions, the carrots, and the cabbage all came from the food bank. Free food, okay? Super simple. Free food is what you want. So let's make sure we try to get our video all together. Let's see if I do this. Y'all see me? How many fingers am I holding up? Let's see what, what that does. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the camera to see. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I am glitching all over the place. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch my camera. And I'm going to use this camera just for sound because this is horrible. Let me, yeah, let me do that. Let me get in here. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you all can see that this is all clear. And let's put me on the side. Let's get a small food camera working. We're going to work this out because there's no way in the world that we want us to look like this. We want you to hear us, but we definitely want you to see us as well. So let's do this. I'm going to fix my camera. Y'all, this is the camera we're using. Just my, um, you know, mobile device. Let's set it up. All right. We got it set up. And... Today started out interesting, y'all. It looks like it's just getting more and more interesting. Hold up, hold up. This is, um, okay, yeah. Let's tighten that up. Mm -mm -mm. 
Okay, so now I'll go in and we'll see how that looks. Okay. Okay. I can't get in the studio. Help. Somebody? Anybody? Let's, Let's see. see. Okay. okay. So now. That is muted. Let's drag me here and let's see what's happening. Which one is good? I think that's good. Okay. And I think that little one is the bad one. So maybe we can put the little one on the food. We'll see. I don't know. Y'all know I like my whole food. This is just sad. Luckily, that was an extra carrot. I still have a clean one, y'all. I'm not eating off the floor. Uh, luckily, I have my bowl. We can start the show, Rambo. Hey, y'all saw me scrambling. When I tell you, you would have thought I had some eggs up in here the way I was scrambling. Woo. Okay, so here's what I'm doing today. In order to make this ramen, I told you all my hack. First of all, do not use the instant ramen. Don't use that little pack and all that stuff because that doesn't service you. And y'all let me know if you can hear me okay. You know, put a one in the chat if the sound is good. Um, put a thumbs up. Put a something. Put a you got this. Y'all know Chef Laquita Marie is here for you. Okay. So let me put the food in the scene. Back on the scene. Crispy and clean. And then let's see if we can also get this food into the photo. All right. I think we can. I think we can, can. Yes, we can, can. Hold up. Am I using that camera? Y'all know what? Today is just not my day. Okay, let's get cooking. I've got a chopping board here. I've got a knife. Y'all know my Cutco knife is my favorite one. It's the only knife I own. So yeah, I do look clear. So I guess I can just bring that one back around to the food. You know, when you're blurry and your connection is working itself out, what you do is you um, just wait a few minutes. That yet usually fixes it. Hey there, AJS Road Tripping. Good to see you all the way here from Germany. Thank y'all for being here. I'm going to start chopping up my garlic, Rambo, my um, cabbage, TWP popcorn, because you know, if we have those two, we chop them first, right? Thank you for putting in hashtag health heroes and Hopefully you all can see me really well today because and hear me because you know what's happening. We are just getting our signals all together and I'm using a network that I pay for, but they do have hotspots. OK, so this means that this particular Internet system hopefully is going to work out. OK, so let's get it going. I'm going to get my food camera back over here on the food. Let's do that. Point it all the way down. Let's see. I think I got a. Y'all know what? I don't know. Mm -mm, I'm okay. I don't know if we're ever going to get this done. But let me turn you down because you're doing a lot. And also, I do want to give you all a little bit of a story time. So while uh, while we wait, y'all know I was in Georgia last week. Okay. Um, I know there is too much light over my left shoulder, right? Um. Let me let me just pull this down a little bit. I'll fix it. There we go. I think I fixed it. I don't know. I appreciate you for putting in hashtag health heroes. Y'all let me know if there's still a glare. I think it's from the drum set. This is my left shoulder. So if you mean this one, there's um, a drum set back there. But either way, thank you. We got some tech people working it out. Okay. So. Story time. Last week I drove to Georgia. There's a festival next week. Y'all saw me. I was down there. If you didn't see me, I'm just giving you the recap, okay? There are friends of ours that live there and they are coming this way for a, um, what do you call it? For a festival. So with this festival, you know, you have to rehearse, you've got to practice. So I drove eight hours, y'all, for rehearsal. That that's the the power of you know making sure you're doing everything that you need to do. So let's see 
how this food camera works now that I've got it back on. I'm going to see if I can get it on the food, okay? We'll get it close. And we just might start cooking today. I'm 10 minutes in, and I haven't chopped one thing. And I have a feeling it still will be a 30-minute show. Or a 30-minute cooking experience. Let me say that. Okay. Where is the camera? Y'all, this is wacky. I see everything except what I should see. Hmm. Maybe if I put it here. Yep. I think you can see into the pot perfectly. Perfect. Woo. Now I can start chopping up some things. Y'all know how this works. Here we use, we love fruits and vegetables because those are the things that are going to heal you, right? So even though I'm going to put on some gloves, even though I put on gloves today, I am uh, just cleaning my hands a little bit and getting ready to chop and peel this garlic because it's hard to peel garlic with gloves on. So that means I'm just going to peel off a couple of cloves, like pull them off. And then over here on the chopping board, oh, you know what? I see what you're saying. This chopping board does look a little bright today, doesn't it? I'm going to see if I can get that into less light. Move this so y'all can kind of see the garlic. I don't know. It still looks bright. I think it's the um, this light right behind me that's doing it. So we'll just chop, you know, again. I was in Georgia and we were, we had a fire, um, not like a, a bad fire, a good fire. This was an intentional fire. And it was so cool because they have so much land down there. Um, they have a big yard and we were able to, you know, create a fire. I know, right? I'm chopping it up. <laughs> AJ is road tripping. We had a huge fire that night. It was so nice. This was the night before the eclipse. But the Airbnb where we stayed, I was able to cook. Y'all, let me tell you how much I love food. This, that's what this story is about. It's a food story. So I like all things food. I like to smell food. Oh, thank you so much. That is better, uh, AJ's Road Trip, and I appreciate that. All right. So, okay, back to me chopping it up um, with the story time and with the food. So basically, uh, the way I love food, like I said, I love food delivery because y'all know I'll do DoorDash quick right? Um, it's just something about food. I don't know, but I really do love the nutritional value. So while we're there, I'm talking with someone and there's somebody who was actually listening to me, y'all. She was intrigued about what I was saying. She did have a lot of health concerns, a lot of health issues. And she told me, she said, every time I go to the doctor, they just keep giving me stuff. Not, and, you know, not anything that she can use, not anything that she's seeing results with. They're giving her pills or creams or whatever, and it's not helping. And, you know, I said, well, do you know about Dr. Brooke Goldner? She's like the goodbye lupus doctor where she fixed her own lupus. And then she started reversing other people's autoimmune diseases with food, with everyday foods from the grocery store. Y'all know I prefer organic, but basically the lady, when I was, she would tell me something and then I was would ask her, oh, well, you know, there's all this land out here. They have grass. Y'all know some places like right when I look outside right now, I see a parking lot. There's like a small patch of grass um, a little ways down that way, a little ways down this way. But I asked her, I said, when was the last time you put your feet in the soil? When, the la when was the last time you leaned against the tree? Because she mentioned that the doctor had given her potassium. And I said, well, you know, potassium helps to regulate your heartbeat. Oh, um, I've given a lot of potassium, y'all. When I worked at the nursing home, I felt like that was like the old folks kit or the senior citizens kit, whatever you want to call it. Right. They had it seemed like everybody was on potassium and I didn't think it was right, but I didn't know any better. I just figured, OK, I guess everybody has issues. I don't know. Thank you so much, Gail at night uh, for reminding everybody to click the like button. All right, y'all. Now that I got the garlic chopped up, I can not only add my gloves, but. I can also add some music because the signal is good and DJ is is here. Now, y'all keep in mind, I am a nurse. I've been a nurse 30 years. But yes, this information is for informational purposes only. 
Uh, none of this is medical advice, right? This is just my experience. Um, and, you know, it's stuff that you can just find on a um, Google search and all of that. So let's see. I'm going to start the music and we'll see if it plays with the band. Because sometimes it does, okay? If it does, it does. It does. It does. It does. It does. All right. But back to what I was saying. So, you know, when you get in, get your feet in the ground, like put your feet on the grass. Sometimes it works on the pavement, like if you're in a parking lot because you are right above the ground. But the main thing is that you just don't have connection a lot of times with the ground. So I was explaining to her, like, y'all know we have these lightning poles. We're used to those on the lightning rods, I mean, on houses. So yes, there are lightning rods on houses that will ground the house. But and and even in a car, y'all have seen those videos where cars will get hit by lightning, but the people inside are okay because the tires will ground those people. So we have to ground as well. Like we also have to touch the ground. It makes a difference. Part of the reason why we don't, we think we are walking with our shoes on and we're on the ground, but it's the it's the rubber that's stopping us. Because you know, y'all see this cabbage. You see, all you have to do is take off those outer leaves and it's gonna be fine on the inside. So I'm just gonna peel a few leaves off. So basically when you ground, like put your feet on the ground, um, shoes used to have leather soles, which was a natural product. That's the reason why those shoes, like people were more grounded, you know, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. And of course we could also uh, go out barefoot you know, now there's so many toxins everywhere. People are just scared to go barefoot, but it actually still works. So instead of, I'm not telling y'all to stop taking your potassium because once again, this is for informational purposes only. But what I am saying is as a nurse, I've given lots of potassium pills. They are to regulate your heartbeat, but you know how when they shock you, when people lose um, their, their heart rhythm, for whatever reason, they will shock them because you know, we're electrical beings. So you can actually take a daily shock, <laughs> a gentle one, and it's not like a shock. It's just natural grounding, right? So I'm just going to slice up this cabbage. I think I'm gonna try to do it maybe um, in strips. We'll see, I don't know, or maybe not. Because you know, people, they like their food, even in ramen, because I have long noodles, I kind of wanted long pieces of food in there as well. So I won't chop it small. I'll chop it, you know, kind of medium size or whatever. Let me make sure y'all can see this. Right, Cause I think the phone is moving. What is going on? There we go. That's a little bit more stable. All right. So back to the ramen y'all. All you really need, you do not need that, that seasoning pack. So that's a part of the hack here is that you can make really delicious food with just a few ingredients, not a lot of uh, chemicals. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cabbage and the garlic in here just to let it sit in the pot. Then I will go ahead and add the cabbage, excuse me, the carrots. And I do have mushrooms too. Now I like the mushrooms to kind of simmer down with the water that I add to the pot when I have the cabbage and the garlic in there. And this is maybe, I'm gonna put like a cup and a half of cabbage. I don't know if you all see how good this cabbage is. This is what I'm saying about vegetables. They're not like meat. You don't have to worry about the outside looking bad and the inside being bad. The nice thing about ramen, I'm excuse me, cabbage or carrots or anything that grows out of the ground, the vegetables, you can typically just cut off the bad spot. You know how like when you're eating an apple and you just, uh, bite, you just cut off the brown spot or banana. It's the same thing with vegetables, y'all. And of course, cabbages have all these layers. So that's another nice part to them that you, you know, you have a lot of um, good stuff that you can still use, even when the outside looks a little like good grief. Has that been in the cellar? Where has that thing been? But back to this story time. So again, I was out there down in Georgia. Um, under the sun, under the eclipse, you know, I did enjoy the eclipse. It didn't get dark. I was looking at it, looking straight at it, because y'all know I do look at the sun. And I feel like I might've gotten charged up from looking at the eclipse too. Like I, I feel a little bit more powerful. I mean, I was able to drive home that night. We left very late after 7 p.m. It's an eight hour drive and I got home at 3 a.m. And that was with stopping. So, you know, that eight hour drive turned into more like 
seven and a half, you know, because when you're driving at night, traffic is better. You really only have the big trucks to worry about. So I'm just going to chop this carrot. I'm going to peel this carrot. Um, Y'all let me know if you can hear the music, if it's loud enough, how it's working. Oh no, my vegetable peeler is not here. I love my vegetable peeler because it's a lot quicker than me using the knife to skin the carrot, but this works, definitely does. So with this particular recipe, I've made this before here at Skyline 21, Urban Gardening Chronicles, what in the world? Hey, hey, hey. You look too, you, <laughs> good, I knew you were a G. See, you looked at the Eclipse too. So last time when I made this, they were, it was an unusual day where um, they had they had something else going on. And so it was just me and the director here hanging out, chit-chatting. And this time we have other people here to give us a real taste test. So, you know, I do want to mention uh, Urban Gardening Chronicles. You know, I sun gaze. Now I was doing it incorrectly because they say you're not supposed to look at the direct full sun. I do that all the time. I just look right at the sun. I've been doing it since I was a child and they were telling me not to. I think that's why my vision is so good right now. I can see pretty far. I can see small print, uh, large print. And you know, they say like when you turn 45 or 50, your eyes change and all of that. So they have some, but I can still see really well. You know, I don't have that thing where I got to pull everything 10 feet from my eyes to see or I'm like squinting or whatever. And I think nosiness helps that too. But y'all, next in the next eclipse, look at the eclipse. It might improve your eyesight too. Because I drove home that night just fine. <laughs> now, there was a lady that we saw and she was very nervous. She, you know, like I said, she said her eye doctor told her, don't look at the eclipse. And I'm like, child, you so old. Y'all didn't have those glasses when you were little. I asked her that. I said, well, what did you do when you were a kid? Did y'all have these? She was like, oh no. Girl, stop. So I'm adding these carrots. I'm just cutting them into strips. And then I'm going to throw the water in here. I'm, I'm cutting them sort of thin, not super thin. I'll show you what I mean. So they're like this size. Yes. Boom. All right. And y'all know if you are not a vegetable person, because I, I was telling you all about, you know, us giving patients potassium and all these different pills, vitamins and whatnot, supplements. When I used to give all those supplements, I just thought, okay, great. You know, this is what they say it is. Well, I was just listening to Dr. Baxter Montgomery this morning, you know, Montgomery Heart and Wellness. He is a heart doctor down in Texas. Y'all know I do talk about him a lot because he gets people off of their medications in order to save them. He's like, your liver is trying to process all these meds and it's not just that your heart is its own isolated thing, right? So he was talking this morning. Uh, well, this is an older live stream from yesterday. I think it was the broadcast from yesterday. But he was saying how when you're taking supplements, like if you're just taking magnesium by itself or potassium by itself, it's not nearly as effective. So he did actually, and I'm saying this because it's on the screen. Thank you, Gail at Mike, for putting it there. He did say... Uh, it's really good to get a chlorella or a spirulina um, tablet because those are like complete, it's like eating a plate of veggies. I mean, you would have to watch the video to understand what he's saying, but you know, I'm an affiliate for Energy Bits. So that's what's on the screen, energybits.com. When you go to energybits.com, you can use my code SUPER20. So that way, when you check out, all you have to do is put in Super 20, you get 20% off of your order. And these little pills, if you don't want to do this work right here and you insist on just drinking coffee because, you know, maybe you can't do any more than that. Maybe you're one of those people that you're like, I'd like to eat more, but it's just not that important to me. I don't want to or whatever, right? Some people have a low appetite. Some people have had surgery and they cannot eat as much as they used to. Well, these energy bits, energybits.com, B-I-T-S, energybits.com. When you go there, you put in the code SUPER20. I'm going to start this stove and I am going to show you the energy bits, okay? <laughs> I'm still laughing about what was all the hype, right? With, around the, um, 
around the eclipse. So look, I said the same thing. So wait, okay, it's on. And we're gonna just turn that up a little bit. So y'all, this is pretty much it for the for the ramen. Let me throw in some mushrooms and then I'll show you the energy bits, okay? So I got these on sale this morning and then I washed them off and uh, put them in here because they're fairly dry, right? I might do a rough chop just because some people, or not, because some people don't like their mushrooms really big, but they have a nice texture the bigger they are. You know, bigger is always better, right? That's what they say. So we're just going to throw the whole eight ounces in there. Like I always tell you all, you just use the whole onion. Just use the whole whatever you're using, right? Use the whole carrot. Use the whole celery. Don't even waste your time using a part of it. So I did put in about three tablespoons of water. I would say maybe a fourth cup of water, okay, is what I put in here. I'm going to cover this up. I'll show you the energy bits because Dr. Baxter Montgomery was talking about this. So if you guys want to skip your veggies, you definitely can order Energy Bits. Go to energybits.com. Now these are, they have different kinds, like Beauty Bits. It um, does something with your skin, collagen or something helps you out, but they all pretty much are the same. I can't remember if this is the one that is a blend. Nope, this is just spirulina. I was gonna say there are some that have spirulina and chlorella. Let me see what these are. So these are the Vitality Bits. And it says 30, oh, this is the one that's the bit, that's the combination, 30 spirulina slash chlorella algae tablets. This is what Dr. Baxter Montgomery, I was so proud and excited. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I knew I was on the right road, right? Um, you know, I'm always looking for the best thing to give people. So this one, these are just spirulina, okay? So Dr. Montgomery was saying, if you take any supplement, this is one of the things that he will give to his patients is spirulina or algae pills. And I'm just gonna show you how small they are. Let me use this hand, maybe that will help. Where my hand? You know what, let me just stop. This is horrible. This is how little they are, okay? Just like that, you see? So you take 10 at a time. And you can add them to a smoothie. You can just chew them, whatever you want to do. That's how easy it is. All right, y'all, let's see if we can do a giveaway because some people have already put in hashtag health heroes. Thank you, AJS Road Trippin'. And thank you so much, TWP Popcorn. So we're gonna see if we can do this, okay? We're gonna go to StreamYards, giveaway tool, and put in hashtag health heroes. And y'all, I'm making more ramen tomorrow because I am a part of a, so you'll see more ramen tomorrow. I might even do another giveaway. And so um, I might make ramen and rice. I just have to figure it out like, hmm, what do I want to do? I say that because what we're doing is I'm a part of the suicide. Okay, good, AJ's road tripping. Yes, thank you, that is better. All right. So I am a part of the suicide prevention boot camp. That means I'll be talking to them about like how food and nutrition can really help everybody with their mood, how it can elevate your mood, how it can reduce uh, suicidal thoughts and all of that. So that's what tomorrow is. So I said, ah, oh, this also, we need something that's affordable for these people. So that's part of the reason why I am going to be doing this um, ramen again tomorrow on the live stream. And I might also do magic rice because of course with ramen or magic rice, you pretty much just um, have some vegetables and then you throw it in the rice, you cook it with the rice or you cook it with the noodles, right? It's all the same thing. The only difference is the vegetables that you use. So that's what I like. So let me just show you all here on the screen uh, what you should see. I mean, what you should be putting in right now. If you can, please put in hashtag health heroes. We do have a couple of people that have already done that. And if you're trying to figure out why would I do this? Who am I? What am I doing? Am I a health hero? Does, is this relative to me? Well, of course, I have a video to share with you this way. With this particular video, it'll help you figure out why you want to eat your fruits and vegetables. Um, of course, they have all have 
Y'all know I say this every episode. If it grows out of the ground and it's a food that grows out of the ground, then it definitely has antioxidants. It also has fiber. Those two things alone will help you. They'll heal you and all of that. So that being said, let's check this out and let's see what we can do about you being a a Faves 100 hero. Which parent are you? In the bustling city of Neutreville, a group of extraordinary individuals has emerged, known far and wide as the superfood parents. They are on a mission to transform their families' lives through the power of nutrition, one delicious bite at a time. Meet Chef La Kita Marie, the culinary mastermind behind the Superfood Parents Playbook. With boundless enthusiasm, she welcomes you to embark on a thrilling journey to becoming a true superfood hero. But what exactly does that mean? In Nutriville, superfood parents are everyday heroes. These superfood parents lead the charge for better health, but not with capes. They lead with carrots, and whole food fats like avocados. And instead of masks, they lead with mangoes and berries. Fruits and vegetables are the disease-destroying arsenal of heroes. Are you a disease-destroyer superhero for your loved ones? Fruits and veggies fuel the mission of heroes like Veggie Vixen. Are you a Veggie Vixen for your loved ones? Dedicated to ensuring their loved ones thrive on a diet rich in faves, fruits and vegetables. Here's your mission, should you choose to accept it is to guide your family to superhero status by reaching the highest levels of health and wellness daily. Become a plant-powered titan, a superfood avenger, or even a face crusader by earning 5 points for every fruit or vegetable eaten. It's a fun-filled quest where nutrition meets excitement. All of the digital details are at superfoodparents.com for the full experience. Superfood Parents has also created workbooks, where you'll discover the tools you need for success. These workbooks give you the heroic strategies to craft your grocery list like a seasoned hero. Which means you now have a playbook to even track your weekly meals like a true champion. And engage in mind-bending nutritional education with word searches that will keep your family entertained and informed. So, are you ready to join the ranks of the superfood parents? Are you prepared to unleash the power of faiths and make every meal a heroic endeavor? If so, flip the page of a superfood playbook and let's begin your journey to becoming the ultimate superfood hero. All right, y'all, we are back. And of course, we are ready for our faves hero giveaway. Thank you so much for putting in hashtag health heroes. Because I see that we got a couple of more people that added it. So thank you so much, uh, Urban Garden Chronicles and Gail at Night. Y'all, the food is hot. I don't know if it turned off our food camera because of the steam. Oh, no, it's okay. I see it. Let's see if we can get it. Y'all, I have this issue almost every time. Oh, I see the steam going to the camera. Let's change that direction. And let's show you all what's cooking in the pot. So that way I can... um, Let's see. If I show you what's cooking in the pot, then I can... Does it go this way? Does it go that I think what I need to do is just move the whole pot closer to the camera. Maybe that's it. Let me get it down lower because I'm about to take the lid off. Well, you know what? I'll just move it to the big screen and I'll see what it looks like. Hey, hey, Nikki, the everyday life of an OCDS chick. We're trying to see what's cooking in this pot. Yeah, I can see it okay. But whew, I don't want the steam to take out the... I don't want the steam. Okay, this is looking good. There's still some water down there because, you know, the vegetables make a lot of water. We got to get that off of the camera so y'all can see it clearly. The steam is taking over. Let's try to turn it before that camera goes off. Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's better. It's clearing up. It's clearing up, y'all. Thank you so much, Nikki. I appreciate that. You know, I got to hide behind this hat because of the um, gray. Y'all, the gray is taking over. I would show y'all, but I'm so vain. I think this song is about me. All right. So let me add my secret hacks in here. Okay, so my secret hacks would be, of course, the liquid aminos. That is the main hack, okay? And then, of course, um, Nikki, we are about to do our phase 100 giveaway. So um, if you want to know how to smash all night Nutriville, great. But either way, 
we want to definitely make sure that we are getting this ramen hack under the faves hero. So put in hashtag health heroes if you're able to. And I, I got these from the food bank because y'all know I'm here at Skyline 21 and they give us so much food, right? When they go to the food bank, you can definitely uh, enjoy quite a few spoils. So for me, since they know that I cook several places, then I get like a double portion, okay? So I put in like two tablespoons of the coconut aminos, and then I'm going to put in one tablespoon of the liquid aminos, okay? Of that one there. So I'm just going to stir it. I'm gonna put the lid back on it. And that's just uh, some salt. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add, maybe I'll go ahead and add the thyme right now as well. Thank you, Nikki. I appreciate you putting that in there. Y'all, I keep trying to get the, the food. I just can't get close enough without the steam taking over. Because as you see, these vegetables are wilted and that's all you need for ramen is your vegetables to have a little bit of a wilt to them. So let's get some herbs and spices in here. Y'all know I always talk about it. The herbs and spices are the key. Those are the things that are gonna heal us. So I almost always put in some thyme. Now I just gotta find the thyme. Now, of course, I can definitely, I could put in one of these, right? Because this has several different seasonings in it. But since the, oh, thank you. I'm glad that, you know what? This looks delicious to me too, Nikki. When I tell you I was watching that lettuce roll you made the other day, mm, 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 that thing looks so good. Here we go. We got some time right here. And I was, remember I was showing you all that with, with your herbs, with your fresh herbs, what you want to do with those is you definitely want to put them in your hand and release some of the natural oils, okay? I'm cooking for other people, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it in instead of doing that. So that means I've got about half a teaspoon of thyme in there. If I have basil, I can't remember if I have the basil, but I love the flavor that basil gives. And sometimes I have tarragon. I think the tarragon is in my home kitchen. But the liquid aminos, it has less sodium than soy sauce. So that's one of the reasons why we use the liquid aminos. And then of course, you know, with your ramen, because you have all of the noodles, you do want it to be a little bit more salty, okay? Oh, and you're eating one of the lettuce wraps right now too, huh? <laughs> Those lettuce rolls, child, she had it full to the brim, y'all. So this is what we're using. We're using a rice noodle. That's part of the hat. A lot of people are gluten-free because of the way they started processing wheat back in the 50s. And so not all of us can have, you know, gluten anymore the way we, or flour, uh, bread, pastas, because of the way they're processed. It's not at all anything that we've done. It's like they created celiac disease, but you can fix it. The same way they messed up the food, you can actually fix your situation with food. So I'll put the lid on here and I'm going to look for a few more herbs while I do the giveaway. Let me see. There was something else I wanted, y'all. Not oregano. I could put in these chopped chives just to have something green, right? I might do that. So let's go back to the Faves Hero giveaway. Let's show you all what we're about to do. So that way you all don't think we're not gonna do it. All right? So I just threw some chives in there because you can't go wrong. Even though I'm used to fresh chives, when you're making real ramen, look, you do put the fresh chives on top. However, these chives will still season up your dish. They'll give it a wonderful color, add some green to it. The brightness is still there as well. So I'm gonna cover this. And after the giveaway, we're gonna add the noodles and we are done, okay? So we've got quite a few entries here. Let's see who is today's Faves 100 hero. All right, Everyday Life of the OCD is Chick, AJS Road Trip, Urban Garden Chronicles, TWP Popcorn, Gale at Night, Everyday Life of AJS Road Trip, TWP, Urban Garden, AJS Road Trip, Urban Garden, uh, TWP, the everyday life of an OCD is Chick is the winner. See y'all, when you grow your own food, you win the contest, you get all the goods, okay? That's what happens. She has, is definitely over there getting in her faves, fruits and vegetables every spread. Thank you, Nikki. Y'all know this means that Nikki gets the honorary title of a plant-powered titan, okay? That means she's automatically eaten at least 80 points worth of fruits and vegetables. 
Look, AGS Road Tripping is already congratulating her. And she's like, I won. Yes, ma'am. Now, if you're eating this ramen dish, this will give you 25 base points because we put in onions, garlic, carrots, cabbage, and mushrooms. Five different foods that grew from the ground, right? You're welcome, the everyday life of an OCDS chick. And so five fruits and vegetables times five points, five times five, 25. So if y'all want to know how to be a plant power titan like Nikki, go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Gail at Mike has dropped the link. Now, if you can't be as ambitious as her, because I I'm, I know she actually does get in her 80 points. So she is a plant power titan. She's a mom. She's a wife. She's a, a, a grand puppy mama. What would you call that? A grandmama puppy? No, she's not a puppy. So I guess a grand puppy mama. Wait, that don't make sense either. But y'all know what I'm talking about. So be a superfood avenger with 65 points or more of fruits and vegetables. Remember, for every fruit or vegetable that you have, you give yourself five points. It doesn't even have to be a full serving. Just the variety alone will do it. And then, of course, as a, fra as a faves crusader, you get 50 points. So if you can at least reach 50 points, then yes, faves crusader. Look, Nikki's laughing at me, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Uh, look, <laughs> let's get back to the food, okay? <laughs> she has grand puppies. That's all I'm saying about Nikki, okay? And yes, thank you, Gail, for putting the link for uh, the OCDS Chicks channel in there. Y'all know when you go there, you get so much information, not just on her garden, but she partners with Hands in the Dirt. So this way they can both show uh, gardening tips. They can share gardening tips. Uh, they can keep us from being ashamed of what we've done in our garden, who we've killed in the garden. Not people, y'all, plants. Which plants we have that have not survived, how to get them to survive and thrive. They highlight special guests. They do all the things. Oh, you got grandkids too. Go on, girl. Do your thing. Okay. Wow. So you got uh, mm, your animals over there doing their thing. Let's get on to the food, okay? Because I'm going to turn the food down so I can put the noodles in without this going crazy, okay? So I'm going to take my ramen, I mean my rice noodles, and this, this dish is finished. Y'all, remember I told you it was still going to be a 30-minute meal because I, I had so many technical issues with my network that I didn't even start until 10 minutes into the, the live stream. So that's why I was chit-chatting. I was telling y'all about all the good experiences that I had down in Georgia where I had people actually listening to me and okay with what I was saying. You know, I've actually had family members tell me. I think I told y'all this before. They were like, I don't care nothing about that. You always telling us about food. Okay. I'm just trying to help you out. I know you eat. We all eat, right? And we eat several times a day. So I'm just trying to make sure I help you get the two already getting. So this comes in like two pieces. I'm just going to put in one. Okay. We throw it in there and then we pour over some more water. And y'all know the rice noodles, they plump up really quickly. So that's the nice thing about them. They absorb the water so quickly. Um, Oh, the everyday life of an OCDS chick just loves throwing all her garden vegetable goodies into a bowl of ramen noodles. Exactly. I started this as a kid. I realized that, wait a minute, pretty much anything you throw into the ramen will really give it a lot of flavor. And I had someone tell me yesterday, she said, you know what? I don't even make regular rice anymore. We only make, we only make magic rice. I was so proud. When I tell y'all, I was so proud. Okay, so I'm going to turn this back up. That way, it'll uh, warm up quickly. And the noodles will... Um, let me submerge those a little bit. I think I might need to add more water. Because once these start to uh, soak up the water, which, like I said, it happens kind of quickly, I'm just going to put the lid on. And then I'll come back to this. I'll finish this quick story, okay? Yeah, Dr. Doolittle is you, the everyday life of an OCDS chick. You are doing it out there. Um, thank y'all. Make sure you go to the website, superfoodparents.com, scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen. Um, I'll show you all how to go there, how to get the knife that I'm using right now, and all of those good things. But I was just telling y'all something, and then I forgot what it was. Nikki, help me out, because you're like, yes, yes, yes. What was I just about to tell y'all? It was something about the magic rice. Right, yep. Thank you. I'm glad you mentioned that magical rice. Okay. So, you know, I just put the vegetables like this. I'll saute them. Then I'll add the rice and let it all plump up together. So yesterday when I was talking to the friend, she said, you know, we eat every, we, we realized from watching your show that we were not adding fruits and vegetables to every spread. We were waiting until dinner. 
we were doing all kinds of things, right? Okay, that's up. I wanted to make sure I cranked that up. We were they were doing all kinds of things, but they said that they realized their she said she realized that she used to eat her aunt's spaghetti and it was good. But when they were adding all the vegetables to their spaghetti, they started to add carrots, celery, um, just regular vegetables that we weren't adding because we thought it was already in the red sauce. She said that they could taste the difference. They didn't realize that the vegetables actually are flavoring the food. I'm like, yeah, this is, you know, you can only know by doing it because, of course, you get herbs and herbs flavor your food. But of course, they grew out of the ground. That's what seasoned them. So if you have something as big as this that grew out of the ground, like an onion, yes, you're also going to get a lot of flavor added to your food. And you know, there are people who are SOS, not strung out on um, stupid or stuck on stupid. I think that's what SOS means. They're not that. <laughs> there are people who are salt, oil, and sugar free. Whereas they don't even add salt to their food because they can taste the natural flavor of all the food, foods that they're eating. Um, those are usually people that also don't eat animal products or their um, byproducts either. So y'all know, thank you for mentioning this, Gail. How how am I always so amped up and ready to go? Well, I am powered by RollJava.com. So that festival that I have next Saturday, I hope the weather is good, y'all, because this is going to be a good one. My friends are coming up from Georgia and I have other uh, performers that we've hired to help with our tampon that day. And it's an all day thing where we hold our tent down, but rolljava.com, that is our coffee company. So rolljava.com, you go there, you buy some coffee and the proceeds benefit our nonprofit Atumpan Edutainment. Yeah, Nikki says the, uh, yes, onions and peppers are very flavorful. Look, you know what? We used to make up all kinds of stuff that SOS uh, stood for, of course, uh, what is it? Save ourselves? I, I mean, what does it really mean? Um, SOS. Anybody out there know? Oh, the food is bubbling. So let's look at the food. And uh, while we figure out what SOS is, we got to save our um, soup. OK, that's what it means right now. So let's go back to the ramen and then I'll taste a little bit. Oh, let me turn it down first. Y'all know how we do. We taste a little bit also just to make sure that the flavor is fine. I'm going to drag this. Oh, it's already over on the big screen. So you all will be able to see, you'll you'll be able to see just how quickly this uh, rehydrates. Because like I said, the rice noodles, they soak up the water really quickly. Let me turn this handle this way so I can hold on to it a little bit better. And you know, noodles only take about eight minutes. Let's say if, you're, if you are using wheat noodles, they only take about eight minutes anyways. So... I'm gonna get a little bit of this out of here just so I can see how the flavors worked out. I don't know if you all, how well you all can see this. So I'm just gonna try to get it close so you can kind of see the colors that are in there with those herbs. herbs. And that's just from the dried chives. Just imagine if you had fresh. You know, whenever you eat, you always wanna do what Nikki's doing. Have some raw food with your cooked food. So that's why a lot of times people will finish off a meal with chopped chives or any sort of fresh herbs because the, the that fresh food still has the life in it. I'm getting all tongue-tied, y'all. What in the world? I was going to say fried food. You know, good and too well, that's not what I'm trying to say. Fried food is the worst for us because the fried foods, it kills all the life in the foods. You know, like all of the energy has gone out. Yeah. So I am going to sample this and then I am going to add a little bit more water so that the noodles are submerged. And then I'm going to give some samples out. So I don't know if y'all have any bowls. Okay, I have one big one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me put this spoon down here because I just ate off of it. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And once I add the water so that the noodles are submerged, Oh yeah, that'll work. Once I add the water so that the noodles are submerged, I just have to add a little bit more of our hack seasonings. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Nikki. The nutrients of these fruits and vegetables, they, they, they are still intact when it's raw. That's the reason why they serve your salad to you first. Y'all know we've done food combining videos here to show you that no matter what you're eating, even if you are eating chicken, fish, or whatever, you want to definitely eat 
raw food first, fresh food first. Because what happens is the fiber, uh, there's something in those polyphenols and stuff that helps your gut. It, it like coats your gut and protects it. So that way, you know, you can eat all the other stuff and you don't die so quickly. <laughs> you don't go down, you don't get the chronic illnesses, you don't get sick, uh, you stay healthier. That's, a, that's just the food combining is another hack. So I just added just a little bit more. Hmm, I was just clicking on stuff, y'all see that? Let me show y'all my Amazon store. That's what I was supposed to be showing y'all. And y'all know, I, I don't think I can go without doing it. I gotta hit it with a little bit of my uh, size on complete. So that always just tops it off. This is the body I complete seasoning I showed you all. I think, I think I put in a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, three fourths of a teaspoon. Y'all know my measurements, how they work. They're all over the place. Okay, so I am going to put a little of this into a container once I show you all the Amazon store where I get my knife, okay? Of course, once you go to superfoodparents.com, you're on the home screen, and then what happens? Let's see. Let's go there and let's see what happens, right? Okay, here we go. So once you're there on the home screen, you can definitely scroll down and see what you can get into, right? You can buy some stuff or what have you. Uh, you can check out older videos, but you can, you can also bring me to your business because y'all know I go to corporations and help people to reduce absenteeism at work. We do live cooking demos, and we have a whole kit and things for your workplace. So if you work somewhere and they wanna bring me there, yeah, bring me there. So right here at the top though, I'm gonna click on this little Amazon button. That takes me to the Amazon store. That is where you can scroll down and I've got all the kits here. You'll see this Cutco knife. These are all the things I use with my mobile setup. So you can see right here, that knife is a good thing to have and remember, I've had this knife for 20 years. So this one is listed here right along with the pot that I used, if you're interested in that. Of course, I don't have my vegetable peeler, but there are a couple of them here in my store every morning. This is how I brew my roll java coffee in this uh, French press. So, you know, there's a lot of good things here. And that is actually the toaster oven that I use at home. I bake so many things in there. So let's get back to the ramen. Hey, J3. Uh, uh, Jags Farm, how you doing? <laughs> Good afternoon to you. We are finishing up with this ramen. I'm about to give a sample to someone here in the audience and I haven't tasted it again. So we're going to see what they say. All right, so I'm gonna put some in this big bowl. So that way um, it kind of will cool off a little bit. Like we can cool it off a little quicker, you know, that way. And then we can add it to the other serving dishes. I'm trying to get the noodles. I need a set of tongs, y'all. What in the world? Look, while I do this, y'all, just do what Gail said, okay? Uh, be sure to click the like button. Thank you so much, Gail, for reminding everybody because this is done. We're finished with the show, right? Speaking of which, let me show y'all the food instead of looking at me. Hey, Jig. Uh, Everyday Life of an OCP is chick. Thanks for chatting it up. You can put any other vegetables you'd like to put in here. You know, Nikki has her own garden, so she's getting whatever's fresh in the garden. But with this, uh, the more you put in, the more fruits and vegetables, the better. And if you don't eat those fruits and vegetables, do what Dr. Baxter Montgomery said. Get you some chlorella and some algae bits. Y'all see me trying to get this into this, uh, I'm trying to get it into this uh, bowl. <laughs> We got some tongs coming. Hey, this is the best place, y'all. Skyline 21 Adult Day Center. Thank you. They have all the resources for us here. So that way, if I'm missing something, uh, we got it. So, energybits.com. Use my code SUPER20 to get 20% to get off. This way, if you're not a veggie person, you can skip the veggies. Uh, these energy bits, it's like eating a plate full of veggies. Lord, I can't, I should have chopped these. This is why I usually cut the noodles. My kids don't like me to, but this is why I do. They're always so long. I can't ever get them all into the bowl. There's always one hanging off. Oh my goodness. All right. So, 
All right, Deacon Emery, I don't know if you'd like to be a taster or if we are um, having some other people be tasters or what we're doing today, but I'm going to cover this one up. Mm -hmm. Cover this one up and we're going to see if we are ready for our super clap sign off. Oh, okay. That's the spoon. I just dropped a spoon that I don't need, y'all. I'm saying goodbye. Uh, once we get the super clap sign off, um, I just need to put some in here. So, y'all, we got a red cup. Now, Skyline 21 is housed inside of Holy Temple Ministries. Y'all see that HTM behind me. So, this red cup is, is only for noodles today, okay? That's all it's for. But we're about to see if, because y'all know how this works. If the food slaps, then we got to clap. So let's see what happens with this food sample. Um, I'm gonna see if I have a fork over here. You have one? Okay. So they have forks. Oh, just about three, I guess, because we gotta let uh, what's her name taste it too. Um, Chris, she's we gotta let her taste it too. Thank you. All right, y'all. I'm putting this in in the red cup and we're going to give out a sample. So what about you? You think you can try it just a little? What are you going to do? You will? Okay, thank you. All right. So I have a little in here. I, the, the juice is getting... Okay, Chris says she definitely wants to taste it. Here's one already. And you can also let me know if it needs anything. Uh oh, Chris, Chris, you can be the first one. All right, Chris is getting the first sample. I think I need to add some more water, y'all. My um, ramen is just soaking up all the water. And also, I don't know if, I hope these noodles, they might not be soft enough because um, they still soaking up water. You said what now? Oh, you like it? Now, I just added a little water so it won't be as salty. I don't know if it's too salty now because I hit it with a little extra something. So it's good. Anything that you like about it? The mushrooms. Oh, you do like the mushrooms. Y'all hit us. Okay. We we got we got some winner, some winning food happening here. All right. So so far so good. You ready for yours, Isaiah? All right, I'm gonna give you a taste as well. Y'all, we're gonna start the clap music. Cause so far, it's really good, I heard. Okay. Oh, I forgot my tongs. I forgot we had these, y'all. This is the solution, the answer to our prayers, okay? Let me see if y'all are um, ready for this. You said what now? I know. You know what? I'm going to cut these, though, now that they're in the bowl. I'm going to just use a knife and cut them because y'all know my Cutco knife will cut everything. I've had it for 20 years, and the nice thing is it cuts meat, it cuts root vegetables, it cuts everything because I've cut all of those things over the years. So that's the nice part about these, about the Cutco knife. It just doesn't quit. It's too legit. All right. Here's my knife. I'm going to just cover that up and I'm going to add some to this cup. Oh yeah, that's better. Let me just go ahead and turn on my slap music, my clap music, y'all, because we're done. We are finished. Like we got a winner here. All right. Is this one yours, Isaiah? Okay. He said, yeah, he'll take this one. Now this is still a little hot, so you got to be careful, but... Here you are. Hold it from the top of the cup like that. Yes, because the hot part is at the bottom. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you all for adding fruits and vegetables to every spread of yours. Be a health hero for your loved one because, you know, it's going to help us all. It's going to heal us all. It's going to reverse things that we are suffering with. It's going to do so much good for everybody involved. So hopefully y'all can hear this music. I got it going. We're going to crank it up. Mm. Let me get my cup out here. And y'all have a good day. Um, enjoy your week. It's Thursday, Friday's Eve for me. 
I know for the people in South Africa, they are already into the evening. We got other people. I don't think the West Coast, I mean, I don't think the uh, Asian countries are in the future yet, but they are almost into tomorrow. All right, I have another one for him. It's still, we still might have to stir it a little bit before you. Y'all see that steam coming up? You know, I used to always tell my kids, stir it, blow it. It gets the uh, heat out. And you got to stir it fast. You put a lot of air in there. That works and that helps. You might still have to stir it some more, please. All right. So, oh, let me turn the pot off, y'all. We are done. Let's clap it up and get out of here. Thank you all for being here. Y'all take care. Enjoy your day. Mm.